Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem 3 distances second taken from CSES. Uh, the problem we'll be solving using rerouting DP of course. The problem is from tree algorithms category. So the problem statement is simple. For each node you have to find the distance, sum of distance from this node to every other node of the tree. For example, for this node the answer would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 because all of the other nodes are at distance 1 so the overall sum is 3. For this node these two nodes are at distance 2 and this is at 1 so 2 plus 2 plus 1 5. Same goes for this same goes for this. So for each node we have to find the sum of distance from current node to every other node in the tree and you have to try to find out a solution in linear time. So we'll be writing a code that runs in linear time and we'll be solving this problem in linear time of course. Now we are uh, when you are going to build a solution for rerouting DP always ask, ask yourself this question. If you have a solution for certain node X can you find solution of some child of node X using result of X. You already know what is the result for node X. Can you use this result to calculate result of its child node in most of the rerouting dp we will be doing this and let me show you how how when you have the result of certain node x you can actually calculate result of node uh, of its child node if that is possible then rerouting dp can be applied in most of the cases this is the case okay so so uh, suppose this is the example tree okay and for node 1 the distance sum is 9 because these three nodes 5 4 and 3 are at distance 2 uh, are at distance 2 so 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 and these nodes are at distance 1 so 3 so overall sum is 9 so the distance sum for node 1 is 9 so if you know the distance sum of node 1 can you calculate it for just uh, can you calculate distance sum for node 2 using the distance of, of node 1 can if we can do then of course the uh, rerouting dp is applicable and we can uh, find the solution uh, using rerouting dp okay our focus is to see how we can do that before we continue let me tell you one thing we all watch videos on certain platforms like instagram or youtube so even ye jo aap video dekh rahe ho aapki ya to recommendation mein aayi hogi ya fir kisi ne suggest kiya hoga ya fir aapne search kiya hoga so the so ये सच काम कैसे करता है इसी कांसेप्ट को समझाने के लिए कोड शेफ एंड एन एकेडमी आर कंडक्टिंग एन ओपन फॉर ऑल लैब दिस संडे ऑन 9th ऑफ मई एंड 8:30 पीएम इन दिस सेशन यू विल बी लर्निंग हाउ ट्राइज एंड हैशिंग वर्क्स टू ब्रिंग द रिजल्ट दैट यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर एंड काफी इंटरेस्टिंग होगा टू लर्न हाउ सर्च एक्चुअली वर्क्स सो क्लिक ऑन द लिंक प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो एंड क्लिक नोटिफाई मी बटन to book your session on 8.30 p.m. For those guys who are new, you can always uh, verify your number and use my code code and code underscore UA to uh, get access to this session. And this lab is being taken by Ria Bunsel, who is, as you can see, SDE at Flipkart and former SDE at Interviewbit. So yeah, you know, you'll be learning from the best. So let's get back to our lecture. So let's see how we'll build the solution. Suppose this was the input tree. I've rooted the tree at node 1. Uh, the distance sum uh, rooted at node 1 is equals to 9. So basically, when node 1 is the root, the distance sum comes out to be 9. Uh, distance of every other node, sum of distances of every other node from node 1. These two are at, uh, these three are at distance 2. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 and these three are at 1. So 6 plus 3, 9. Okay. So distance sum when node 1 is the root is equals to 9. What happens uh, if I want to calculate distance sum of node 2, I have, I, I will, what I'll do, I'll root node 2. I'll root, uh, root the tree at node 2. What would happen in that case when you make certain node, uh, new root of the tree, what happens is that just, just remove the subtree rooted at new root from the original tree so you will be left with pink parts only right what you can do uh, what this hap what this shows you is that when you make node to the new root the remaining part of the tree actually becomes subtree of new root right even if you make four the new root just remove the subtree rooted at node four the remaining nodes the remaining nodes or remaining tree sorry will become subtree of node four same goes for node two I want to root the tree at node 2 so what happens remaining part will actually become a subtree of node 2 
okay now uh, to calculate the result for node 2 what I can do I can uh, utilize the result of node 1 which we have already calculated right we can utilize this sum to calculate and see how much this subtree actually contributes to the result of node 2 and using that we are we will be able to calculate the result of node 2 in constant time so the overall result we will be able to find out in linear time so let's see how distance sum we already know of uh, of of the tree when rooted at node 1 basically distance sum of every other node from node 1 is 9 and how much this will contribute to distance sum of node 2 let's see so first of all uh, this subtree the distance sum of this subtree this rooted at 1 this subtree only not this only this is equals to 6 okay why uh, see these two nodes are at distance to 2 to 4 and these two are at 1 so 6 okay uh, but how we can calculate this easily so see uh, before that distance sum of this subtree actually is 6 but contribution of this subtree in the result of 2 is actually 6 plus 5 why is that so well 5 is uh, one hint is 5 is subtree size of this uh, subtree but why is that so see every node uh, this distance the distance sum is 6 uh, because we have calculated distance of every other node in its subtree from node 1 right so whatever node is at distance x from 1 is actually at distance x plus 1 from node 2 and we have to find the contribution uh, to node 2 that's why we have to take into account the extra one distance because of traveling this edge so if distance sum of subtree rooted at this node is actually 6 then contribution of this would be 6 that is distance sum rooted at this node plus 5 which is subtree size because for each node I need to travel an extra edge right that's why subtree size would be added here you can see the uh, the contribution is actually 11 because see here uh, this and this node are at distance 2 from 2 right so 4 because of them these two are at 3 distance so 6 because of them so 4 plus 6 is 10 and this is at distance 1 so 11 so all we have to do is find the distance sum of this subtree add subtree size of to it subtree size of this actually and then you get the contribution of this subtree this big subtree in constant time if we are able to find out distance sum uh, this distance sum this distance sum of subtree and subtree size in constant time well we can actually find out all we have to do is first do a pre-processing on the tree and for each node calculate subtree size you can easily do that right we we have been doing this uh, for, for a very long time uh, we can run a simple DFS and for each node we can actually calculate distance uh, subtree sorry subtree size of each node and also we have to find for each node distance sum what do I mean by that uh, distance sum I mean uh, root the tree first uh, when the tree is rooted say at node 1 for each node calculate subtree size of each node and then also distance sum that is for each node calculate the distance of every other node in its subtree okay sum of distance of every other node in its subtree so for this node it would be 0 for this node it would be 0 because there are no nodes in their subtree for this node it would be 2 because there are two nodes in its subtree okay so uh, distance of distance sum of this node would be 2 we need to calculate the, these two things to calculate our result to calculate these things so see here our distance of, of these this node would be 2 because of this plus this right so what would be the contribution of this subtree in the distance sum of node 1 easy since this is its style so distance sum of this plus subtree size of this right and why is that because you need to travel this extra edge so distance sum of this was 2 and subtree size of 3 so contribution of this subtree in the distance sum of node 1 would be 5 how see these two nodes are at distance 2 so 4 because of them and 1 because of this so let me show you how I'm calculating uh, so here you see this is how I'm calculating uh, subtree size and uh, distance I guess distance sum yeah distance sum so I'm storing distance sum in sub dis dis 
basically uh, subtree distance and this is to store subtree size okay uh, this is a simple code dfs code to calculate subtree size this is how we calculate subtree size right and after that uh, for current node contribution of this child into the distance sum or in the parent would be subtree size of child plus subtree distance of child right basically distance sum of child plus subtree size of child this much it will contribute to the subtree distance or basically distance sum of the parent right so using dfs1 i'm calculating subtree size and subtree distance for each node okay after that the question is how or uh, since you know the distance sum of parent is actually a uh, certain value x then how i can calculate uh, subtree uh, sorry distance sum for node 1 base uh, sorry node 2 basically i know for uh, from node 1 what is the sum of distances from every other node utilizing the result of that how i can calculate the same uh, that is the diff, uh, distance sum of every node from node 2 how we can do that see simple first of all find the contribution of the remaining subtree and then find the contribution of this subtree right all you have to do is find these two contribution and then you have found your result uh, contribution of the remaining subtree okay uh, i'm calling this subtree because this is uh, finally going to be the subtree of node 2 which is which will be your new root uh, so uh, you only have to find out you only have to figure out result of these two subtree this the original subtree of node rooted at 2 and this subtree uh, to calculate this we'll utilize the result of the parent which is result that is 9 let me show you uh, to calculate contribution of this into the child it would be result of the parent node which is 9 minus minus distance sum of node 2 itself because i uh, uh, since i need to remove the contribution of node uh, contribution of this subtree from the res uh, result or distance sum of node 1 right because here you see this subtree does not contain this so in the result of one you need to remove the contribution of this subtree to do that what you would do uh, from the answer of the parent remove first of all subtree distance and then subtree size right because this was the contribution of this subtree in the result of node 1 right what was the contribution contribution was distance sum plus this uh, subtree size right Th this is uh, let me just show you this is what we were doing right the contribution of current child is subtree size of child plus distance basically distance sum of child right and that is exactly what i'm remo removing from here because uh, you need to remove this subtree so contribution of that subtree is being removed so take the result of parent remove subtree size and uh, distance sum after that you have got the distance sum of this subtree only but you need to add subtree size of this subtree as well because uh, that will be the contribution of this subtree into result of node 2 for that take the total number of nodes minus subtree size of this that will tell you uh, the subtree size of remaining number of nodes right that's why I take n minus subtree size of current node so let me just show you how am i calculating see result of current node using the other dfs result of current node is equals to result of parent minus subtree size of node minus subtree uh, distance sum of node right minus subtree size of node sub uh, distance sum of node after that you need to add subtree size this subtree size into the result of node as well for that n minus subtree size of current node right after that finally you need to add a uh, distance sum of this subtree as well which we have already pre-processed you remember we pre-processed two things we have all already uh, processed the distance sum of each subtree so i need distance sum of this subtree as well because i have calculated distance sum uh, contribution of distance sum of this subtree using these two now i need distance sum of these which we have already pre-processed and that is stored in the subtree distance of node so this is how you calculate a uh, result for each node and you might notice that uh, i'm using minus subtree of current node or uh, subtree size of current node and okay sorry minus subtree distance of current node plus subtree distance of current node i could have simply cancelled out these two 
but I'm not because uh, because I needed to explain everything and that's why I've kept these two so in a separate DFS we are calculating this uh, for each node right after that we are making DFS call to every other child so that they can calculate their their result as well so this is how rerouting DP is being applied on this problem if you still have certain doubts uh, see it is not only for node 1 and node 2 when you are able to calculate result of child from using the uh, by using result of parent this is simple now this will become a general algorithm for each node each node in the tree is actually child of some certain node right so using the result of that it can calculate the result of its own that's why we are making recursively dfs call so that we can reach every node and every node using the result of its parent can calculate its result we are not doing this for node 1 because node 1 is not child of any node because in the initial tree node 1 was actually the parent and uh, node 1 result is already calculated using this right because because subtree distance actually calculates uh, distance sum in its subtree and every node is inside the subtree of this so so for node 1 the result is actually subtree distance of node 1 itself so result 1 is subtree distance of node 1 itself and this is the overall result i'll be providing the dis uh, the link to the solution in the description of the video if you still have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you